Lum Wilder has high blood pressure, but he's doing something about it. And today his pressure is normal. But there are many people who don't even know they have high blood pressure. And that's one of the reasons for this. And the only way you can find out if you have high blood pressure is to have it checked. Society is becoming one of technology. The problem of finding qualified people is getting bigger. Dr. Larry Kramick says enrollment is up among undergraduates, but the graduate program is... We then take another picture of the pumping chamber of the heart. These are just different pictures. To, to get a better view of the artery. And including ourselves is to uh, try to do an angioplasty, you, putting a little tube there with a balloon on the tip and dilate that blockage. That's a, it's a different procedure uh, that can be done in selected patients. Is that cholesterol what's called plaque? Plaque, that's right, that's a plaque. Put your favorite point at one of those pictures. It okay. doesn't matter what you're pointing at. Yeah, that's, that's where the, this underlying plaque is in this patient. You can see that there is. Indirectly affects millions of others. Today, there's hope. The Food and Drug Administration approved the first drug designed to treat genital herpes. Directly affects millions of others. Today, there's hope. Closed circuit televisions. And this is a TV, just like the one you have at home, except that it also has a camera. So you can direct the camera to a book or a letter, something that you wanted to read and the image is magnified on your television screen. It's a wide angle telescope and there's one for each eye. So these would be used for distance viewing, perhaps to see someone's face who is far away or a sun. They've come a long way and I hope that they learn more things that'll be of help to somebody else. But in spite of enormous achievements, there is still much to be learned. Cardiovascular disease is still the number one killer in America, and we are all potential victims. It can strike without logic or reason. The young, the elderly, the strong, the weak, no one is immune. To reveal the mysteries of this elusive threat and to prevent its indiscriminate assault on our lives has been the purpose of the American Heart Association for over 30 years. is to American television what the Pulitzer Prize is to journalism. A group of broadcasters has been formed to endow the Humanitas Prize. This station is part of that coalition. The Humanitas Prize is to American television what the Pulitzer Prize is to journalism. This week in Hollywood, writers of the TV movie Divorce Wars and episodes of Lou Grant and MASH were winners of the $50,000 Humanitas Prizes for humanizing achievement in television. The Humanitas Prize is awarded to those writers of nationally broadcast teleplays which most fully communicate human values. A group of broadcasters has been formed to endow the Humanitas Prize. This station is part of that coalition. The Humanitas Prize is to American television what the Pulitzer Prize is to journalism. This week in Hollywood, writers of the TV movie Divorce Wars and episodes of Lou Grant and MASH were winners of the $50,000 Humanitas Prizes for humanizing achievement in television. I feel that it's the most meaningful award that a writer can receive in television, a uh, value that it has in uh, emphasizing um, uh, humane and uh, compassionate and constructive uh, elements in stories. Uh, this is an award which goes to the heart of what, of what the artist felt was important about the work. A group of broadcasters has been formed to endow the Humanitas Prize. This station is part of that coalition.